A revitalization project in the city of Jacksonville reached a milestone today. Nine in your sides, Claire Malay was there as the city went out with the old and in with the new. From city officials to the family that owns this property, the consensus on the demolition is a bit bittersweet. They say while they are sad to watch the buildings go, it was time to make way for a better future. A, a lot of fond memories. We raised our food. We had gardens. We had hogs. Rose Henderson Adams, along with her sisters, remembers being raised on this land where her grandfather built these houses, they say, somewhere around 80 years ago. They knew how to live off the land, and our granddad was one of the first people hired at Camp Lejeune at the boiler plant. So he built these houses, all of them. The project allows property owners to receive grant money from the city, which will pay for all the demolition costs. We take dilapidated structures that are beyond 50% of um, being able to repair, and we offer a demolition grant to the owners of the property. City Councilman Brian Jackson says growing up in Jacksonville, he does feel a bit mournful seeing the buildings go, but it was time. When the families can't put money into these old structures and then they're not safe, anyway and you can't do much to them it really saves uh, the taxpayers uh, money um, and also it allows the beautification of the city to go forward jackson even got to take a swing at tearing down a building to be able to sit into one of these machines and actually put it on a structure it's every boy's dream Property owners can still apply for grant money from the city to demolish structures. As far as what's next for this land, the city says that's up to the property owners. The family says they have not yet decided, but they're excited to modernize and contribute to the continued improvement of the city they love. In Jacksonville, Claire Mollet, 9 on your side.